Lay down, lay down, Casey, lay down. Casey, Casey, come, Casey. Bold, 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 Casey. Running after them. When I said not to. What is up you beautiful farmers? It's your boy Carl, back for another installment and we're on another mountain gathering more sheep. So it's uh, another two day operation here. We're gathering them, we're going to scan them tomorrow morning. In this vlog I um, was requested that I get into a bit more detail about hill sheep and scanning percentages and just a bit more about the system. So I'm going to get that on later in the vlog and we're going to talk a little bit it'll probably be tomorrow and we'll talk a bit about that so we'll get into a bit of the meat about scanning percentages maybe explain why hill sheep have less lambs and lowland sheep and um a couple other points so yeah that'll be interesting for now we're going to gather the sheep and uh it's going to take a couple of runs and it's be some nice scenery so enjoy Look at that for rocks. It's mad. We're in hot pursuit here. Gaining on them, I think. Look at the sheep's path. They know where they're going. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow. Lake down there as well. Oh, here they come. Lay down, lay down, Casey, lay down! Casey! Casey! Come! Casey! Bold! Bold! Bold, Casey! Running after them! When I said not to. Casey got a little over exuberant and split a couple away. And there's a lame one in it, so she doesn't get a chance and she'll go into the rock get away from us and she'll be, she won't be able to, won't get her then. It's funny that, I mean, there's times when you need to run, like to cut them off, you need to go as fast as you can. And then there's times when you need to hang back and let the sheep on and not put them under pressure and make them dive in somewhere else. Casey, come here. Just knowing when, it's the key, isn't it? That's all experience. We'll get there yet. There's a bit of wool. Something died at some point. Put down, your head's in the way. Casey, come. Casey, good girl. Lay down! Come on! Coming hard now! Lay down, right? Jock, lie! Lie! Lay down, lay down! Lay! Lay down! Where's your unit hats, guys? Unit. Is that a good gather, was it? That's alright, yeah. It's a stare. I don't know. Because I still see a few others. So. Only about 100 out the back. Yeah. 
Tea on board, gathering part two as a go. Just taking a couple of posts, not bad. Not bad, pretty good. Here, this for terrain, heather, best of stuff. I'm not sure how much Suffolk's in Texas is like that, but the hornies eat away at it. Keep going, Willie. Go on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Now they're moving. It's not easy this crack and there's there wouldn't be a fortune out of it like but it's a healthier lifestyle, like I was just looking, like I did 70, a sure 75 feet this morning then come up here at lunchtime and the phone says I have 9,000 steps done in a couple of hours there, like Oh, it's great, it's very, it's healthy, like Like, being, you know, I was looking at, I remember back in college I was looking at statistics and something like two thirds of Irish adults are overweight or obese, like And that's not demonising people who are Like, it's really, really easy for it to happen, like, particularly as you get older and your metabolism starts to slow down. And then just all the shite that's out there and everything is so processed and everything, so when you go into a shop, you're bombarded with sweet stuff and everything looks so colorful and so tasty, like, and it just creeps up on you, like, and next thing, you know, you're in a shot, like, so it's, you know, it's one thing about this, that you keep active and you can kind of keep the weight off you, like, it's good, but the stress of it probably ages you at times. <laughs> What's your luck? It's not crows as Jack does, as the saying goes. I read a quote somewhere, it was, don't pray for an easy life, pray for the strength to live a difficult one. <laughs> I thought that resonated. What is up you beautiful farmers, welcome back to the channel, here ready to get scanning, it snowed last night so that's put another little nice element into it so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Boys are locked up behind bears. People do ask, like, why as, is the scanning percentage lower with hill sheep, and why you're kind of, and we're kind of aiming for most shows to have a single lamb. Like, why is that? They're in their natural environment, and they're not pumped up grass like her feet. The natural instincts of them, maybe to have one left. Yeah. That's what you'd be looking for. Yeah. The more pairs you have, the more you have to pull off the hill yeah. for a lamb time. So some people might be trying to push them on and have more pairs. And but the more pairs you have, the more you have to bring down, and then you have to have green land to put them to. So yeah. probably take home the twins maybe around the middle of March. Lamb. Lamb them on grass, lamb. 
because of the higher energy requirement. April on Yeah. To the middle of May before the growth starts coming on the hills. The lamb's about two weeks old, that's when the real pressure comes on the hill sheep. Yeah. So need to have them fit and healthy when they're lambing. Yeah. To give them a chance to rear a lamb on the hill. And we're kind of, you, we, we run their hands on their backs, that's the important thing to see how what kind of condition they're in. And we'll do it again before lambing, won't we? Yeah. It's kind of two at the scanning time and again before yeah, lambing. Once a time, yeah. yeah. Because we'll bring away the twins, obviously, but then there's single ones that just, for whatever reason, maybe because they're young, maybe right. they're just a couple of older ones that might be just struggling on a particular year. And if they're starting to get thin, then they need to be brought off. But then if the O's kind of keep is holding up all right, you know, by feeling feeling her back and seeing what she's like, if she's a lively, healthy O, then please it's a condition score, child, as you call it, BCS. Yeah. We wouldn't be <laughs> You wouldn't be handing a yo saying that she's a three or a four or two. You just put her hand on it, just go by feel, go by go by how much it, meat you can grab. You can nearly know by looking at the body even without even handling it. Yeah. Get light in the body and skin. Yeah. So why do you like Mayo's on the hill compared to other types of sheep? If you're up there today and see the hail blowing and the storm and snow. I'm gonna put in some of that snow footage. <laughs> They're real tough. They're real tough. Mm. They're, They're easy big. fed. Easy they? fed as well. Yeah. Not too big in the body and not too tall. Yeah. Easy fed. Yeah. So we can get away without feeding in the springtime, which not a whole pile of farmers would. They? Not feeding any nuts. Chris next buckets instead. We'll find it. You save time and it's more natural, they can kind of come and go as they want. They're such a great wee sheep that you can have a more, a to more higher total number of yos than when other yeah, breeds are. Their lifespan would be a lot longer. Yeah. So yeah, they're, not, they're not pampered or blown up. Yeah. yeah. Sheep does have their natural environment, their lifespan would be maybe two to three years old. Longer. Yeah. That's a very good point, actually. Like sheep that's. Yeah. Because you see that with mules and you see sheep that are. You see some lowland sheep that are pushed hard and they're on a very intensive system and yeah. they're an old sheep by five, like, or four by... Yeah. We're looking at sheep today there and some of them maybe be 70, 80 years old at least. Yeah. Like that. On the mountain. Numbers, that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they're hardy, they're good. You can run more. With my own sheep you can run more of them too, can't you? I think I that's... hit a few jaws with the fox as well if you left the twins. That's thing. another thing. It's yeah. Issue on the mountain. Everywhere we yeah. yeah. Outdoor lambing. Fox is a big problem. Particularly in the hill, yeah. Sheep will sheep. hope of mine and two lambs. A sheep will look after one, be able to look after one, whereas if there's two, a fox is likely to take them.